All right. It's the day after the show, and we're in downtown LA, and we're going to go to the Norton Simon Museum in Pasadena, and hopefully see some more awesome paintings. So, yay! <laughs> Tabernacle frame painted by Francisco Ribellini. Very cool. This is gesso incision. That split corner. Not into the painting, but I love the frame. <laughs> it's so gnarly. Let's see where it was touched up. Talk about old looking and distressed. Jeez. Here's how they're hung. They got a bolt bolted to the wall. Not into the painting. Sorry, painter. It's just a Botticelli painting. No big deal. <laughs> really into the frame. The frame is sick. What the chili? Little holes everywhere. Split lighter. So, what's this? A little pinned on, little wood carving. So this was an oil on panel, and it was transferred to canvas somehow, can't imagine. Look at how the liner does not add up. <laughs> it's wider on that side than that side. The Dutch Ripple frame, very beautiful. German painter though. Very cool. John Mace. Very nice frame indeed. Beautiful painting too. 
Thank you. Carved marble tabernacle. Neat. That's too cool. Parcel gilt means that it's only gilt with eight sections. One of my favorite dead painters. He's a modern painter. Just a on Instagram, but kind of tried to do it. Yeah. It's really awesome if I can find him. Look at that hand. Giant thumb. <laughs> That's funny to me. The color and everything. See, all this is done with compo. This is that putty um, polymer stuff that I was talking about. This is compo. <laughs> you stick it on, you're good to go. I want to play this chess set. It was too cool. What the pattern? Possibly. Could be tortoiseshell, it could be a vernier. Poor turtle. It's very Dutch. I just love the interior and the space. And the killer frame, too. But uh, I'm pretty sure I could simulate that texture with the clay that I use because it's so heavy. I want it. I want to reverse it though. I want it to come out concave instead of convex. I like concave. That Dutch ripple. Beautiful painting. So you have like the Flemish corners, but then instead of like tortoise shell or ripples, you do inlays. you do inlays. But that's a yeah. I was thinking just do pastelia, yeah. so it would just be raised. That'd be slick. I like it. I want it. <laughs> By the way, this is a Rembrandt. <laughs> Is it uh, older? Yeah, older than that. It's a very slapdash. Yeah. Gabriel Metz is one of my favorite Dutch painters. There's this one painting of a chicken. It's like a like a dead rooster, or like it was like hung up by its feet. It's all like hung up. It's really good. <laughs> oh, that gives me anxiety. 
I see a flaw in me. I just put nails right in the middle. Boom, boom, boom. Not on, not even fill the, didn't even fill the holes. This uh, signature looks really Japanese. Oh, and then what's that? Huh. Rembrandt, old, uh, young Rembrandt. 1633. He was very young, at that age, 20s. See, that is dope. That is so dope. So, so cool. Young Steen. This finish is called Dutch Black, and it's a bunch of layers of different stuff. Uh, Charles Douglas knows how to do it, but he wouldn't share. But uh, basically a bunch of transparent layers of like shellac that's been polished out. Um, it has a bunch of different pigments in it. Baby painting. <laughs> it's a really cool frame too. That was one hideous cat. Ong Ongas. It looks like Ingress. Cool frame. I would just paint sections of it black though. <laughs> that was neat. He had a bad day. He's pissed. Look at the baby. It's a baby Goya. That's such a crazy painting. Oh my lord. So we're back from LA and look what I found. It's Chantal Dinkle, <laughs> the uh, wonderful muse from many of the paintings yeah. out there, the, the paintings in the world. So next week will be fun. We're going to be building a frame for a painting of Chantel oh, so um, by Micah Pillimer and I'll be happy to finally get around to that. And he saw the really cool tabernacles we saw at the Norton Simon Museum. And so I'm pretty inspired right now. So stay tuned. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.